What's up guys, this is Adam the Bees Knees here, and today we are doing a team builder for the Mesquite best friends. So, first off the bat, I have to say, last week was not my best performance. I skipped through some turns, I BS the team builder. I was upset that I lost, you know? And no more of that. Um, I actually am recording this before we battled. It's actually during the UCL draft, because Kyle has to... Because we kind of like delayed our battle, and it's a little late, and Kyle has to go to work in about a couple, like two hours, so, so I'm going to face Kyle again, and as you do remember, we fought Kyle in week one, actually, and it was a very narrow victory, we almost lost, and we, um, we lost because of pretty much one reason, and it was the Conkelder. I kind of ran a more bulkier team, and as you can see here, this has a lot of bulky mons on it, but I thought, like, if I'm going to beat Kyle, I have to do it in a way that my offense uh, can beat his offense, and that my, uh, I, I have a switch in, or I don't even, Conkelder can't switch in on something. So that's why I didn't bring Mega Gyarados, and that's why I didn't bring Porygon too. However, so I'm going to go over Kyle's team again, and it's important that he made three changes, and I actually expect all three to bring, I'm pretty sure he brought them mainly for me. So, first he has Meta Metagross. It's a pretty big threat, um, obviously, if it gets an attack race from a Meteor Mesh, that's going to suck. Um, I do have some counters there. He has Kong Kelder, the bane of my existence. Uh, he did, like he's mentioned this before, he brought the best that he could bring last time. And I really don't think um, he's going to bring that Choice Bandit set. However, you know, I'll have to, I'll be more comfortable with this. We are actually doing it on Showdown, my home turf actually. Um, this is because uh, my Genesect does not work for some reason like it's legal in it's set and spread and so on but we'll, we'll go over that now he had a Latios he replaced it for a Weavile now Weavile is a little more threatening Weavile can obviously pursue my things can knock off Porygon too you know I thought about bringing a bulky Gyarados but however a low kick at least two hit KOs it can one hit KO non-defensive variants Yes, Hocus, he brought that last time for Mian Xiao. I actually have not brought Mian Xiao at all. It's kind of surprising because Mian Xiao is a really good Pokemon. I've actually really wanted to use it, but I've just never gotten around to bring it. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, but I'm not bringing it this, this time, as you can tell. Uh, he has the Honchkrow. Uh, you know, fairly threatening. The Rose Raid, another fairly threatening Pokemon. Now, he redrafted Flygon to Delphox, and I do think he's going to bring Delphox, and he's going to bring it Scarfed, because it can trick Porygon 2, um, which was my main fear for his Latios last time. Um, Delphox actually outspeeds pretty much my whole team that would want to be run Scarfed. It actually does not outspeed me and Chef. I ran that Scarf by one point, actually. Um, but me, uh, if I do run a Scarf Genesect, Delphox will be able to one-shot my Genesect and outspeed. He has Explod, another very threatening Mon. Rampardos can be threatening under the right circumstances. Now, these circumstances are more apparent with his uh, with another redraft. He dumped Tauros, which by its own is a pretty good threatening Pokemon. It's a hard normal type hitter, but he has Explod for that, so I can definitely see why. And he picked up Masquerade. I'm pretty sure Levani was already taken, but Masquerade... <sighs> I'm going to be honest, sticky webs are really annoying. So in my team builder, I had two things. I had a few ways to ensure sticky webs don't happen. And if they do, I can work around them. And I'll show you that later. And he has Electrode, which outspeeds my whole entire team. So we're going to start off the bat with this Rotom here. Now, this Rotom is a pretty bulky Rotom. It's designed to somewhat take on his Mega Metagross. Now, it's not going to be perfect because I don't have that much um, in my defense. Now, I do have that speed specifically for a, um, a max speed x -Blat. Because x -Blat theoretically can hit off a huge hit, and I'd really rather Volt Switch. Actually, it's not a max speed x -Blat. I'm pretty sure it's just a 252 modest x -Blat because you're not going to run Timid. You want to hit as hard as you can. Now, it's a pretty standard set. I'm going to be wary on will -O because I do think he's going to run Guts. Um, I don't really see a big reason why he wouldn't. However, he bluffed it fantastic last time. But I'm not bringing Gorgice, which is cool. Uh, Pain Split, uh, Volt Switch, and Overheat. Now, Overheat, not one hit shit. Cannot one shot Mega Metagross. But Mega, Mega, 
Mega Meta Gross actually can two-shot me. So my plan is to get it in uh, safely, take a hit, and kill Meta Gross. Now, this is Sticky Web Prep 1. And this Lottie... See, I don't know how I feel about Sticky Web in a draft league format. Because I've actually prepared a lot for it. Because he could very well not bring it. <clears throat> And that would throw my game up. But I have my defogger here. Now, Latias is not designed to do too much in this game. Um, I am very aware that he can pursue trap me with both Metagross and Weavile. They are actually both really good switch-ins to Latios and Latias. However, um, I do have Psychic to hit Kong Helder a little bit harder. Actually, uh, oh. I don't know if I have Psy I do have Psychic. And then I have Shadow Ball. Um, Shadow Ball just hits Mega Metagross a little bit harder. Because at least Mega Metagross is a little less threatening than a Weavile. And I know he's going to run the Life Orb Weavile in our game. So that's just my case. If I get it off a Defog, he brings in Weavile. I could take a Pursuit on my Switch out. I mean, I could Shadow Ball it, but that's really not going to do too much. I have Max Speed, potentially to Speed Tie with the Mega Metagross. He could very well run Adamant. Now, uh, my next Pokemon is Regirap. This is a cool set. It's Max Defenses. It's kind of designed to deal a little bit with Conk and a little bit with Weavile. By that I mean it can actually take a Drain Punch. Okay, it's a 3 hit KO, I'm pretty sure at best. And I have these moves here. Now, I really want Stealth Rocks, and there's a big reason why. It's with Genesec, and I'll explain that a little later. It also has to do why I couldn't play on 3DS. Drain Punch just almost or pretty much one-shots Weavile. Stone Edge is there, and Explosion just because kaboom. Honestly, realistically, I should run Earthquake because it doesn't hit Metagross really hard. But... We're actually battling really soon, so I'm not going to fix that. And, like, you know, it, I just got to go with what I win. If we were on 3DS, I couldn't change it anyway. So Regirock's here. And I'm really disappointed I can't run Shiny Regirock because it's sturdy. And I have the Custat Berry. Um, to pretty much, this is to get rocks out. I need rocks up 100%. Rocks are just, uh, rocks are going to be there to wreck Kyle. And the reason why I say this, he has, I believe, one form of hazard removal. That's Togekiss. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have anything else because he redrafted Flygon for Delphox. So my next Pokemon is Choice Banded Genesect. Now, here's the thing. I actually don't want to run a Hasty Nature. However, Extreme Speed Genesect only has the Hasty Nature. I don't know why it aggravates me. I really wanted to run Naughty because the speed I have, 146, is enough to, I believe, outspeed a Jolly or Timid Togekiss. I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, so with that speed, I could actually run pretty much max speed and, uh, an adamant nature, practically. But instead I have to run less speed with the boosting nature and add a little more in special tech, which is fine. It hits Madden Metagross. I'm obviously going to blow off his scarf. But, see, the main thing on this set is extreme speed. Extreme speed is really good. Now, the reason why I say this, I am choice banded and download. What download is so good on Kyle's team because almost all of his mons are a lot more bulky in the special defense, meaning I'm going to get that attack raise. And so what I can do with extreme speed is I can Oko the Togekiss, the Honchkrow, not the Togekiss, well I can with Iron Head, the Honchkrow, the Roserade, the Delphox, um, and the Weavile, as well as the Masquerade and Electrode, pretty much all after Stealth Rock damage. Mega Metagross is going to take a lot from a U-turn. However, I'm really not going to stand on Mega Metagross. Kong Kelder actually takes about 30 to 40 or maybe even 50% from my ESP. And this is important if he does get those sticky webs up. Because if he does get those webs up, I'm not going to outspeed with the Choice Scarf. So that's why I scrapped that idea. If I run a Choice Ban, I smack everything with extreme speed. I don't care what I have to outspeed because I'm going to outpour it towards Weavile and the uh, Mach Punch on Kong Kelder. So... That's my set. Flamethrower is there. That really hit that Mega Metagross. It actually cannot Oko it like last time, even with that plus one. Uh, I'd actually have to run a lot more. Pretty much maxed out my special deck, and I'm not going to do that. This is just in case uh, Metagross gets weakened. He's might be fearing it, or he switches in on me, perhaps. You know, it's just there. I actually probably could have ran Blaze Kick, but I don't want to miss and be in a really bad spot. So now, I have Mammoth Swine as my next pick. Now, this... Uh, I've is enough speed to, I believe, outspeed a Weavile after a Choice Scarf. Now, I'm Adamant Nature, of course. Now, I have Earthquake and Ice Crash. I've said this before. It really destroys Kyle's team. 
he doesn't have a solid switch in. I do know he's going to run a Choice Scarf Delphox. Like, in my mind, 100% that is the best thing he can run against me. It actually is really good against my team. But, um, so that's fine. But Mamma Swan is there to just spam Earthquake. There's a good feeling, there's a good uh, possibility he won't bring Togekiss, because Togekiss did not do anything last game. And he could bring Honscrow, he, he might, but I don't know if he'll bring that. But if I can spam Earthquake, oh, and a lot of his team is weak to Ice, and Ice Shark, even though I'm Choice Scarf, it's still going to um, outspeed that Honscrow. It's still going to outspeed the uh, Mock Punch, so might as well. And I have Icicle Spear as my last stage move. The reason why I have Icicle Spear it's really, it's my, it's my genius idea, right? If he leads off with that Masquerade, I Choice Scarf and I Icicle Spear to break his Sash and knock him out. It's three hits. Genius. And I, I'm really, I'm so excited. I really hope he brings Stick Goods in a three way because I have three things to kind of deal with it. And I have um, Mamoswine here just not destroy. I, ugh, I want to get that off so bad. If he doesn't bring it, I guess yay for me. Icicle Spear won't be used in the battle then. Unless I'm feeling frisky. And then last up, we have this um, Floridus. Now, I I'll give credit to Vert on this one. I actually, I don't know what I had over this. Actually, I think I have Mian Shao. Honestly, but, uh, you know, Conkelder and Weavile are issues. And to fix those issues, I have Floridus. Kiba Berry is for the Poison Jab. I don't know if I was going to run him, but... It's kind of just a safety precaution. I, what really pains me about Forges in this matchup is it will automatically send in Mega Metagross. Which is going to be a little bit problematic to my team because nothing can really take a hit from that. But, but, Mega Metagross is really not that bad. I know I can Revenge Kill it. I know I have the tools in my pocket um, to at least try to take that thing out. It's actually a pretty big threat. It's actually a bigger threat than the Conkelder, I believe, uh, my out of my team. But that's the that's how I'm gonna break down Carol's team. I'm gonna stop Sticky Webs, and I'm honestly going to win with Mamoswine and Genesect. Those are my offensive Pokemon. I actually brought I brought a uh, Choice Banded Mamoswine and a Choice Scarf Genesect last time, so it's kind of funny how they're flopped. I just noticed that now. So until then, this is Adam DeVizzi signing out. And hopefully we can meet Kyle, because if we do, we're pretty good. We probably have a good shot of winning this league, so. You know, in a way, I just got to say this. I'm kind of glad it's on Showdown, because uh, Wi-Fi is spooky, spooky. I don't know. Uh, just I almost choked on Wi-Fi, or so. Or so. Oh, but I did lose on Showdown, so. Eh. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.